Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Hey babes, I'm back with another video. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel to help the channel continue to grow. Okay, let's get into it, honey. Peaches. <laughs> Lord, stop letting that girl play in your head. Your brace is jacked up. Stop letting that girl play in y'all face. That stuff be looking a mess. Like you looking in the mirror, you think that look good? You know what? Whatever. Oh, y'all seen this lady say she a big bag, big bang. And look who in the um self checkout line. Um, what you trying to do? What you trying to do, Peach? You say that line for people that steal. So what, you had a little razzle-dazzle moment right quick? Girl, you know what? Y'all need to make it make sense. Because if you're going to say one thing and it wasn't even busy in that store, what you doing at self-checkout? Hmm. What you doing at self-checkout, sis? You're trying to uh, get the little uh, five-finger discounts at the Reggie? <laughs> Like, and that lady was sick of you. She was sick of you. I'm to my sick of you, that cashier. Honey, did y'all see she handed that lady that hundred bucks? And baby, that lady put she had her hand out. That lady went around her hand and put that money on the counter. Baby, get up out of here. People tired of you coming up there with that camera going. People don't want to be bothered with you. Go take your big goofy ass off. Like, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. To my son, she like to call a case. Call the case for what? Because the top don't want you playing in her face and all in the store. Girl, you claim you're a bit bad, big bang. And you had to record it. Why you went up there with that foolishness? I don't understand. It was only a dollar. Yeah, but you spent all this money here, there, and everywhere, but you complaining about a dollar. Girl, big bank, big bag, whatever you be saying, yeah, okay, whatever. Come on, you about to beat the lady up, but she put your money down on the counter. Girl, you would have touched that lady. She looked like she do taekwondo or some kind of stuff. She would have, you would have touched that lady, honey, and she would have beat you for the old and the new and then press charges on you. Girl, you would have been looking crazy out here in these streets. I hope your phone was on live so we could have caught the drama, girl. I would have went and grabbed me a bag of popcorn, honey, and sat down and enjoyed the show. Like, baby, please. And baby, my thing is, she the only big grown ass person in Sam's Club running down aisles and acting so goofy. Like, girl, you too old. You too old to be in a acting like that. Grow up. Grow up. And I'm so sick of this. This lady got a divorce and her husband and got seven kids. What do it? What do it? Well, yet you still sleeping with him. He's still living with you. You're still doing everything for him. So just shut up about it. We tired of him. Like for real. That's ridiculous. He can't help you get up and get the kids ready for school. Or he damn sure can hit that phone ring or hit that text message or whatever and meet you at a casino. Like that is crazy. He probably bust a hole in the door. And man, to get downstairs or get in the car, whatever. And he probably was driving like a bat out of hell, honey, to get down to that casino. Y'all is crazy to be paying for these men love and attention and affection. Y'all is crazy. This is bananas. This is, oh Lord, it's, it's, something, it's something in the water. It's something in the water. It's a stick up, peach patch, give it up. It's a stick up, peach patch, give it up. Loose y'all money, honey. Loose y'all money, honey. That's what she yelling all the way to the bank, honey. She tearing y'all purses up <laughs> over there. She going to have a nerve to cancel a class and then come back to my son. Having another damn class for $89. Girl, she canceled that first class because it wasn't enough money for her to get up in time and it wasn't worth her time. 
That's why she canceled the class because some people got in seven dollars, one dollar, two dollars. That's why she canceled that class. Now she gonna throw a special for just eighty nine dollars. Period. Come on, so she gonna teach y'all the new ways of making money on um on social media. Girl, y'all be fooled with this buffoonery. If y'all want to, y'all be fooled. <laughs> it's crazy when you got over four hundred thousand subbies on. YouTube and um, you probably got even got even more on all the other platforms or whatever and only four people buy your class you know them people opening their eyes over there they're like mm -mm, fuck that shit honey I can go do something else with my coins I ain't finna be scammed by this shit right here so hun she can go and take that man to the casino and stuff like that great people waking up they might support you by watching watching your channel and clicking like or whatever and whatever but baby them people tired of giving you that goddamn hard earned money for nothing girl mm mm it's crazy. She said she wasn't going to teach the updates. Now, all of a sudden, honey, I guess that money looking a little funny, honey. And she can get around. She done found a little loophole to teach y'all a little something, something. Whatever she teach y'all in them classes, I don't think it's much. But she done found a little loophole and teaching y'all the bare minimum. And y'all finna run like a chicken with y'all head cut off. It's a stick up. Peach patch, give it up. It's a stick up. Peach patch, give it up. Loose y'all money, honey. Loose y'all money. <laughs> like, my thing is, if y'all get her y'all money, y'all need to be hit across the head with a common sense stick. Like, baby, y'all need to go and find the nearest corner and ask somebody to bop y'all over y'all head. Because, baby, y'all is crazy. Y'all just giving people y'all money. Y'all might as well wipe y'all ass and flush down the toilet stool. That's what's happening to it. That's exactly what's happening to it. Honey, wipe your ass and flush it down the stool. Mm-hmm. Is it just me? But a person they got mental health issues and come on this thing and have breakdowns every other day, they can't teach me a goddamn thing. I wouldn't give them my money for what? They can't teach me shit. I'm sorry. What can you possibly teach me when you can't even keep it together? I never seen someone who claimed to have so much money and they buy all these clothes and go to all these places for these kids. And when something come up and on every occasion, she never have clean clothes, the colors or nothing. She always have to run to the store like a chicken with her head cut off to get new stuff for these churn. Like everything must be dirty as usual. I'm not sh I'm not understanding. Like my churn go places, honey, I can go in there and find stuff. And it be nice and clean, iron it up, and it look nice. I don't understand why somebody have to go every single time something happen, go and buy something new. That is ridiculous. You can tell there's no structure or discipline in her household. Because all them kids do is cry and whine just like Peach. If she put her foot down and set boundaries for her kids, you won't have to worry about had them having tantrums and public and all that crying and doing stuff that you don't want them to do and they will listen to you. But y'all don't do that. Like, my thing is, my husband hate for me to do anything that gonna make him look like a weak ass man. So if it's anything that concerns being a lead, the leader of the household or doing anything that is supposed to be looked at as the man's role, he do not like when I do it. What, what he will feel so bad he will talk shit all day and my thing is how the freak is a man supposed to feel like a man he would should feel less than a man because he don't do nothing he's not even able to lead his family his wife he let her lead and he might as well have a ruffle panties on with a little ruffle things the shirley temper draws because they don't make no sense because he's not the head of the household she is she is and then she told my son she hate when people call her a victim or whatever to my son. She an overcomer. Girl, you an overcomer of what? You get on here, you must don't look at your videos when you edit them. Because your videos do not scream overcomer. They, they screaming victim. Look at me. Look what I'm going through. Feel sorry for me. Give me something. That's what, it's, that's what it looks like. Ain't nobody trying to tell your story. Nobody trying to tell your story, your lies. Only you can do that. But you get mad and people hold you accountable and call you out on your bullshit. That's what people doing. 
you know what? I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Y'all remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, comment down below some channels y'all like for me to react on. And I will do that for you. Until next time, see you later, babes. Deuces.